It's been a long time coming for Ramblers fans, Felicia, especially for one in particular, sister Jean Schmidt, 98 years young. She's not only the team's biggest fan, but could also be a big reason why they're making their first tournament appearance in three decades. Some would call her Loyola's good luck charm. The team's going to be good this year. But Sister Jean would tell you it's all about faith. I pray with all the fans and pray for both sides, but always ask, of course, God to be very favorable toward Loyola. The 98-year-old nun and team chaplain providing comfort and prayer for the Ramblers and Loyola students for more than two decades. Keeping up with them keeps me in, and I learn all kinds of new vocabulary almost every year. Small in stature, but large in presence. She just keeps going. This spry little nun is also giving the Ramblers basketball team a competitive edge with, believe it or not, scouting reports. I do my scouting ahead of time to know what the other team is like. My first encounter, I walked into my office and I had a package on my desk. And I opened it up and it was a scouting report of every returning player at Loyola from Sister Jean. But it's off the court where Sister Jean really works her magic, her own pep email sent to every player and coach after every game. She's an unconditional love for our team, our student body, and after every single game, never missed one, I get an email within an hour from her. And there's a little PS at the bottom with their personal name on it and telling them how I felt about the game for them and what I thought they needed to do more if they needed to make uh, better shots or to next time stand under that basket and get the ball in. And then how can you put a price tag on someone that close to God that prays for the referees that they can see better? Those basketball players know that they can come and talk to me anytime. My office is in the student center and so uh, my door is open all the time so they do pop in. The heart and soul of a team making their first tournament appearance in 33 years. And as she wears her fanfare out loud, she's pulling for the Ramblers to have their one shining moment. We need to just play our game and we need to have fun while we're playing. And you know, there's no doubt at all who she has winning in this NCAA tournament against Miami. She's even got a separate bracket in her back pocket called Cinderella Dream, where she's got the Ramblers going all the way. Well, anything's possible in March, and we'll see how far they go starting today at 2 o'clock. I'm live from Loyola, Brandon Pope, The Jam.